I'm Liz Scissors, and today I wanted to touch on certifying. Why should you certify and, and some insight as to the process. So I certified through National Dog Groomers Association of America, and I got my NCMG after, it took me two years of different test sites to, to do it just with timing. And it, it at the time, it was the early 2000s, and at the time, I want to say that it was very controversial, and I think it still to an extent is, that there's kind of this label on it that if you're certified that you think that you're better than somebody else, or that it means nothing, or it means something, and honestly, I will tell you, I think it means to each person something different. And if you choose to certify, it means some something to you that it maybe doesn't mean to me or who knows. But for me, I really wanted to prove to myself more than anyone else, I wanted to prove to myself that I knew how to execute breed profiles correctly. And the reason why I had doubt in myself was because even though I had had a good, a decent foundation and I had learned how to do these things, I knew that I had been taught by one person. And then when I would go to a new salon as a young groomer, they would tell me a different way. And then I would go to a different salon and they would tell me that they did it a different way. And it always created insecurity in my decisions where I went, well, I think this is what the picture looks like to me. So that's what I'm going to do. And when I learned, when I got into certification, I really wanted to know, no, I need to know factually, where are those lines? How do I achieve that look? correctly and every time so that I'm not questioning myself and having somebody come in and go, well, that's not a correct schnauzer cut or that's not a, a proper cocker cut. That's not a Bichon head. I, I wanted to know for myself so that I'd feel better about the decisions I was making as well as I knew that it would show my clients that I was very invested in this as a career and not just a job. So that was important to me and that was a personal choice for me. There were two other options out there at, that was IPG, International Professional Groomers. And there was also ISCC, which is International Society of Canine Cosmetologists. ISCC is based in Texas and it's a little bit harder to get to there. And, uh, and it was much more in depth and technical learning. Like you have to pass their skin and coat courses before you can move forward, which I think is fantastic and smart, but it also was more difficult for me. It just wasn't an option for me. And IPG was not what I was looking for. It was just, it was more accessible for me to do through NDGAA, which now has been bought by Barclay. So I'm very excited about that in the future that it's gonna be more accessible to people all across the country because they're offering their, potentially, they haven't made a formal announcement, but they're offering to do certification all across the country, which is really great. And I learned a whole lot through that process, but you're really only going to get the education that you choose to get. And you're going to learn each breed in the AKC, and you're going to try to execute four of those haircuts under timed judging. And so there's some pressure there for sure. And it was very challenging. And it was also so rewarding when I passed and I did well. So that really built my confidence and made me feel better about my choices, but it also inspired me to continue to learn and make sure that I, once I learned how to do these four breeds and I learned all the general knowledge on all the rest of the breeds, I wanted to get more in depth with the choices on the rest of them so that I really knew the nuances of each breed. Certifying was just the catalyst for that. And I encourage everybody, I don't care who you are, it's not gonna hurt you to learn more. It isn't, you're not necessarily gonna become, start charging $100 more a haircut because you're certified, but it's gonna make you have more confidence in your decisions and what you're doing. It's gonna make you feel better and more at peace and comfortable executing your haircuts and knowing that you're doing it correctly. You can modify those haircuts for anybody, but now you know the, the correct pattern lines. You understand the breed standard better. So it's all helpful and it really did change the kind of groomer I was. Not that I only did purebred haircuts, I didn't. I was a pet groomer, I am a pet groomer. I did pet trims all day long, but I definitely knew how to do the purebred cuts and I could modify any of those patterns and those styles on pretty much any breed 
that I thought it would look really good on. So that was super, super helpful. And I really am grateful and, that I did take that leap and do it. And I encourage everybody to really do some homework and check it out for yourself and see if that's something you wanna do. It's not gonna hurt. And honestly, it's really not that expensive. And I've already done a video on how you can achieve dogs for these tests. And I'm telling you, it really makes you look at dogs and see dogs differently. And it will help you in your pet grooming. I promise you. I hope you found these tips helpful. And I look forward to seeing you at the next one. Check me out at LizScissors.com.